After a close look at Tivoli and Memorial Auditorium money management, the general manager of both steps down. Good evening, I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Latricia Thomas. We begin tonight with a closer look at those allegations. News Channel 9's John Madewell joins us with the details. John. Well, Latricia and Calvin, City Auditor Stan Sewell found a host of problems in the way money was paid out at the Tivoli Theater and Memorial Auditorium. Because of numerous cash payments, the exact dollar amount missing has been hard to track. But Sewell says there has definitely been false reporting, misappropriation, and conflict of interest. Sandy Coulter's office at the Memorial Auditorium sits empty. Coulter stepped down as general manager after a special project investigation by the city's internal audit. One of the key problems, a 1099 form paying her husband $3,100 for work as an usher. City Auditor Stan Sewell says that's a conflict of interest and the investigation could not verify her husband actually worked events. Sewell also says too many checks were written to cash and Coulter altered a payment receipt to a merchandiser. She worked at the auditorium for 32 years and became manager five and a half years ago. Memorial falls under the Department of Education, Arts and Culture. I'm serious about this. I'm disturbed about this. It's wrong. I'm a taxpayer too. You know, government's got to be held to a higher level of accountability and mistakes happen. It's what you do with them to turn it around. And so we are doing something. We're working with finance. Auditor Sewell says payments of ushers and door guards in cash is a bad practice. Under Coulter's administration, Sewell says there were no checks, invoices, or contracts. And that operation happened outside of city oversight. We are now, um, these transactions go through, finance has to sign off on this as well as us. I am now committed to the, the, the manager reports, to, will report to me. We are requesting proposals for uh, ushers, stagehands, and security. So we're putting all that work that goes into the events back out uh, for new people to bid on. We've already m taken some measures and the job descriptions changed some measures. We've, we're using a, a purchasing card for other things that, that uh, sometimes were paid for by cash. Now she went on to say they hope to have the new processes in place by January and Missy Crutchfield and her deputy will run Memorial and Tivoli until a new general manager is hired. Meanwhile, the internal audit office has notified the district attorney's office and the state comptroller. We attempted to locate Sandy Coulter but could not find her. Calvin. Thanks, John. 